In 2026, the Linux world is louder than ever. Every week there's a new distro review, a new desktop environment, a new promise to finally replace Windows or Mac OS for everyone. Names like Ubuntu, Fedora, Arch, and Linux Mint dominate YouTube thumbnails and blog posts. They are solid, mature, and widely respected. But in the middle of all this noise, something interesting is happening quietly, almost invisibly. A Linux operating system that doesn't chase hype, doesn't rebrand itself every year, doesn't rely on flashy marketing or influencer buzz, yet consistently delivers one of the most refined, stable, and thoughtfully designed Linux experiences available today. Most people scroll past it. Many have never heard of it. That is exactly why this operating system is the most underrated Linux OS you absolutely need to see in 2026. This operating system is called OpenSUSE, and more specifically, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed and OpenSUSE Leap, depending on how you like your Linux served. Before you click away thinking, I've heard of that, it's old, or isn't that just an enterprise thing? Stay with me, because OpenSUSE in 2026 is not what most people think it is. It is not boring, it is not outdated, and it is definitely not just for system administrators in server rooms. In fact, it might be one of the best Linux distributions for developers. Power users, tinkerers, and even everyday desktop users who want reliability without stagnation. Let's start with the elephant in the room. Why is OpenSUSE underrated? The biggest reason is branding and perception. OpenSUSE doesn't shout doesn't try to be the easiest Linux ever or the arch killer or the Windows replacement, it quietly focuses on engineering excellence. In an internet culture driven by clickbait and extremes, that kind of calm confidence often gets ignored. But if you look beneath the surface, OpenSUSE is doing things that many popular distros either struggle with or simply don't attempt at all. One of the most impressive aspects of OpenSUSE is its build system and quality control. OpenSUSE uses something called the Open Build Service. This is not just a tool, it's an entire ecosystem for building, testing, and distributing software across multiple Linux distributions. Packages are built in clean environments, automatically tested, and checked for dependency issues before they ever reach your system. In 2026, when software supply chain security is a serious concern, this level of rigor matters more than ever. Many users talk about rolling releases being unstable. But OpenSUSE Tumbleweed completely flips that narrative. It is one of the most stable rolling release distributions available, not because it updates slowly, but because updates are only pushed when they pass strict automated testing. Tumbleweed in 2026 feels like magic if you've ever been burned by a broken update on another rolling distro. You get the latest kernels, the newest desktop environments, fresh drivers, and up-to-date developer tools, but with a safety net underneath. If something does go wrong, OPENSUSE has another secret weapon that makes it stand out. BTRF snapshots integrated directly into the system. This is where OpenSUS starts to feel futuristic, even though the technology has been there for years. By default, OpenSUS uses the BTRF's file system for the root partition. Every time you install updates, the system automatically creates snapshots. These snapshots are not some advanced feature you need to configure manually. They are there from day one. If an update breaks your system, you simply reboot. Choose a previous snapshot from the boot menu, and you are instantly back to a working state. No live USBs, no crude commands, no panic. In 2026, with systems becoming more complex and updates more frequent, this feature alone makes OpenSUSC stand out as a distro that actually respects your time. Now let's talk about UST because this is another reason OpenSUSE is misunderstood. UST is OpenSUSE's system administration tool, and many people think of it as old-fashioned or clunky. But in reality, UST in 2026 is one of the most powerful and comprehensive system configuration tools available on any Linux distribution. It allows you to manage users, disks, bootloaders, services, networking, firewalls, virtualization, software repositories, and system security all from a single interface. You can use it graphically or entirely from the terminal. For new users, it reduces the fear of breaking things. Ah. For advanced users, it saves time by centralizing complex tasks that would otherwise require memorizing dozens of commands. What makes UST truly underrated is that it doesn't lock you into it. If you prefer the terminal, you can ignore UST completely 
and manage your system the traditional way. But when you need it, it's there, mature, reliable, and deeply integrated. In an era where many distros are removing tools or simplifying things to the point of limiting user control, OpenSUSE does the opposite, gives you power without forcing you to use it in one specific way. Desktop experience is another area where OpenSUSE deserves more attention. In 2026, desktop Linux is more polished than ever, and OpenSUSE integrates beautifully with KDE Plasma and GNOME. KDE Plasma on OpenSUSE feels especially refined. The OpenSUSE team works closely with KDE developers, and it shows. Plasma updates arrive quickly, themes are consistent, and performance is excellent. If you're someone who wants a modern, customizable desktop without the instability that sometimes comes with bleeding-edge distributions, OpenSUSE hits a sweet spot that very few distros manage. Hardware support is also a strong point, thanks to its close relationship with SUSE, one of the biggest enterprise Linux companies in the world. OpenSUSE benefits from excellent kernel support and driver integration. In 2026, with hybrid CPUs, advanced GPUs, and increasingly complex laptop hardware, this matters a lot. OpenSUSE handles modern hardware gracefully, whether you're running a high-end workstation, a developer laptop, or a modest home PC. Secure boot, disk encryption, and modern power management are all well-supported and easy to configure. Now let's talk about Leap, because OpenSUSE isn't just one thing. Leap is the stable counterpart to Tumbleweed. It shares a code base with SUSE Linux Enterprise, which means you are essentially getting enterprise-grade stability on a free, community-driven distribution. In a world where many stable distros are actually just older versions of fast-moving software, Leap feels intentionally designed for long-term reliability. It's perfect for people who want a system that just works, receives security updates, and doesn't change behavior every few weeks. What's fascinating is that in 2026, OpenSUS allows users to switch between Leap and Tumbleweed with relative ease. This flexibility is rare. Okay, you can start with Leap, learn the system, and later move to Tumbleweed without reinstalling everything. That kind of design philosophy shows respect for users and their evolving needs. Another reason OpenSUSC is underrated is its community. It's not the loudest or the biggest, but it is one of the most welcoming and technically competent Linux communities out there. Documentation is excellent, forums are active, and developers actually respond to user feedback. In an era where some popular distros feel increasingly corporate or disconnected from their users, OpenSUSC maintains a healthy balance between professional engineering and community-driven development. For developers in 2026, OpenSUSC is a hidden gem. It supports container technologies like Padman and Docker exceptionally well. It has first-class support for virtualization using KVM and Zen. Development tools for Python, Rust, Go, Java, and C++ are readily available and up-to-date. The system is clean, predictable, and doesn't fight you when you want to customize your environment. If you're working in cloud-native development, DevOps, or embedded systems, OpenSUSE feels like a natural fit. Security is another area where OpenSUSE quietly excels. Appermar is deeply integrated. CO Linux is supported for those who want it, and system hardening options are easy to enable. In 2026, as privacy and security concerns continue to grow, having a distribution that takes these issues seriously without overwhelming users is a huge advantage. OpenSUSE doesn't treat security as an afterthought or a marketing slogan. It builds it into the foundation of the system. So why, after all of this, is OpenSUS still underrated? The answer is simple. It doesn't try to be everything to everyone. It doesn't chase trends. It doesn't rebrand itself with flashy names or radical changes every year. It evolves steadily, thoughtfully, and quietly. In a culture obsessed with novelty, that kind of consistency often gets overlooked. But for users who value reliability, transparency, and long-term usability, OpenSUSE in 2026 is a breath of fresh air. If you are tired of distro hopping, Tired of broken updates? Tired of systems that feel like experiments rather than tools? OpenSUSE might be the Linux distribution you didn't know you were looking for. It respects your intelligence. Gives you control without chaos. It offers modern software without sacrificing stability. Most importantly, it grows with you as a user. 
The most underrated Linux OS you need to see in 2026 is not the one with the flashiest website or the loudest fans. It's the one that quietly does everything right, year after year, while everyone else argues about which distro is the best. OpenSUSE doesn't need to tell you it's great. You discover it the moment you start using it, and once you do, it's very hard to look back.